Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos, and today we're going to be talking about how to record your iPhone home screen, your iOS home screen, without jailbreaking, without installing a jailbreak, without having to get, um, you know, there's there's a couple methods you can do this. Now, the method I'm doing this right now is through an app called Air Server. Um, I actually got this for a review quite a while ago. It's like $15 for a license. Really, really awesome application. Really great, and again, one of my favorite ways to do it. Uh, really high quality. But it is, it's a, it's a more expensive app. But there's a way to do it via an App Store app that was recently just released. And I wanted to get this video out because I, I'm not too sure how long it's actually going to be out, to be honest. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, this type of technology is against Apple's uh, policy, if I'm not uh, too mistaken here. So let me go ahead and just kind of expand this out. But uh, move my iPhone screen over to the left here. So this is doing it via AirPlay, the current method I'm doing it. There's another method via jailbreak that's really popular called Display Recorder. So if you've ever wanted to, let's say, you know, film your iPhone, maybe you want to do an app review, uh, maybe you want to do a promotional video for your application. So you just want to, you know, you developed an application, you want to show yourself walking through it. Uh, well, th you know, there's many uses for it. In this case, there's an app currently released. It was just released in the App Store. I just purchased it. I've been messing around with it, and it's actually pretty decent for $2. And again, I don't know how this snuck into the App Store, but again, if if uh, you, while you're watching this video, while it's live um, and in the App Store, if you want to spend $2, it's actually a really solid application. It's called XREC. It allows you to record your iPhone screen. It's not currently compatible with iOS 7. Uh, you can read a little bit of the information here. He talks about how to use it. There is some back end to it. There are some cons to it, but um, we're going to go ahead and dive into it. So it's a $2 app. I have it right here, XREC. And you can open it. And as soon as you open it here, you have three tabs. It's a really simple, clean interface. And basically, all you do is you hit record. Uh, that's your recording tab to play and stop. And it gives you how long you've been recording. So you can record a really long time. Obviously, you have the hour, minutes, and seconds. You go into videos to see the video that you recorded here. You can delete it. You can, if you're swiping it, you can see that you have the size limit. Uh, let's say oh, I want to delete that. That was just a test recording. And then you have your settings. Now, this is really cool. This allows you to do a couple things. You can record in certain sizes, 100% scale, 75% scale, uh, and 50% scale. You can record in a certain orientation. So if you want it to be in a certain orientation, you can do that. So again, if you're showcasing a certain app, you can even record audio. So you can literally do a app review all from this one app with your iPhone on the go. You can tell it to record audio, choose the, ch uh, the sample rate, choose the channels if you want it to be mono or stereo. So let's go ahead and record a test thing. So all you do literally is hit the play button. And what's really unique about this app is it can record your iPhone screen in its entirety. You can record third-party apps, which is the reason I think this app may get removed from the App Store again. So definitely download if you are looking for this right away. Um, you can see I can go in the Twitter app, and I can just go use my Twitter feed right here. I can go through, jump through my Twitter feed, just scroll, 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 go into my Twitter feed, follow me, twitter.com slash kidguru. Um, I can go in my Instagram here. I can jump into my Instagram. I don't want to really show people's pictures here I guess I'm too late but you can see you know my Instagram feed for example um, I can jump out I can jump into a game for example let's go ahead and jump into a uh, I don't really have any games do I um, we'll open this game this is a little puzzle game this isn't really graphically intensive I am jailbroken on this iPhone um, but keep in mind again I'm not I'm just using this app is running in the background literally um, and recording everything I'm doing. So you can see here the game runs without a hitch. Everything runs fine. It doesn't even seem, it seems like you're not even, it's not even recording in the background. So you can see I can play here. I can do all these, you know, things I want to do in the app. And then I can go back to XREC. So I jump into XREC. And you can see the only thing about XREC, the one con, you do have this kind of big red bar at the top. Um, so I'm guessing that's something the developer doesn't have too much control over. It signifies that you're recording. I can hit stop here and encodes the movie, encodes it really fast, that's a big pro. I go into videos and I can play it back, so I can now watch it here. And the quality is pretty decent. I mean, it's it's not as super sharp, but I think for the for the most part, it's actually pretty decent here. You're going to see me flipping through, and again, I'm not doing anything. I'm just playing the video back on my iPhone. I can even scrub through it here, I believe, if I tap on the video. I can scrub through it, high-speed scrubbing, so you can see me playing the game here. And again, it's, if you have an app that you want to demo, anything like that, really simple, really easy. This is XREC, guys. Definitely worth checking out. After you do that, you get the file size limit. You can go in. You can choose to export it via mail, Dropbox, most importantly, camera roll. So you can save it to your camera roll, sync it to your computer, drag it out, and edit it, upload it to YouTube, whatever you want to do. Guys, this is XREC. It's an app that I'm guessing won't be in the app store too long, so definitely worth checking out. For more technology content to come, don't forget to check out our site at digitaldojos.com. Subscribe if you enjoyed this video, like it, favorite it, all that good stuff. I will catch you guys in the next video.